You nervous, mate? I'm nervous too. It's all right. All right, tell us. What's your name and where are you from? I'm um, Sunny and I'm from Tri-Cities. Sunny, welcome. Let's give a round of applause to Sunny. It's no wrecking being up here. All right, Sunny. What did your life look like before Jesus? Uh, so my mom had me at a very young age. Uh, I, I didn't really know who my dad was, uh, but she met my, uh, my stepfather and uh, they got an apartment and they did argue a lot. So it was very like disruptive, I guess, in the house. And this kind of went on throughout, eighth, throughout my whole life, basically, um, until eighth grade. My parents got in a big argument and I left my house and I had nobody else to go to. Uh, around this time, I was doing three sports at a time. And that was, this was before COVID. So I had my coach to call. He was, a, he was a pastor himself. So I called him and I just spent the whole day with him. And, and when I came back, he had talked to my father. And, and so it was... It was kind of, kind of. I wouldn't say rough, but it was, it was depressing and sad, and it was scary, I guess. But um, at this time, I was. I also found this girl, and she introduced me to God. She took me to church. We went to youth consistently, and this kind of went on for almost a year. And then, uh, so we broke up, and it was it was really sad for me because I lost my. I lost, I, I had everything before COVID. Um, my coach moved, so I had nobody else really to go to, uh, and I, I was, I was, I was lost. I was, I was lost, and I was in a very dark place. And Sonny, when would you say you, so you met a, you met God and you heard about Jesus through a girl, right? Um, so when would you say you came back properly to church and to Christ? Uh, recently, I actually, a couple months last year. Uh, the, the Martin, he, uh, texted me saying if he wanted, if I wanted to go to life group and I usually tell him like, no, I'm busy, this and that, but I was never really busy. I just didn't really want to go. <laughs> and so, and so I told him, I was like, yeah, I'll go. And so I went and I had a really good, I had a really good night with the guys and, and I went home and I, and I actually prayed and I prayed for like 10 minutes. I was crying. I really meant every, everything. And actually that night, I, uh, I was fighting demons. I heard my name and I thought it was my sister. So I come out. They're all sleeping. And there's nobody in the living room. Everybody's asleep. It was super late. And, and so I go back to my room, you know, lay down. And I hear, I, I hear my name, I hear my name and it gets closer and, it, and it's just a strong voice and I, I, see, I see things. And I, had to, I actually had to sleep with my TV on that night. I was too scared to get out of my bed to turn the light on. Um, so a couple months after that, uh, I, came, I had came back to youth and I got prayed for and it, it really it, it changed my life. It really did. Amen. Give a round of applause, guys. Sonny, what would you say your life looks like now that you've rededicated your life to Jesus, you're consistently showing up and you're coming to youth, what would you say your life looks like right now? Uh, it's very peaceful. It, I wouldn't say it's easy, but the people, it, God gives you people. He, he, he's surrounding me with guys like Sal, Martin, Zach. Uh, I, I'm friends with kids that I didn't think I would be friends with. And actually, uh, there was a life group here at the church and I wasn't going to go, but I actually had a friend tell me to go. So, and I went and it was, it was, it was life changing. Right. Give me a round of applause. <laughs> Sonny, so ever since that life group, how have you been stepping up now in your community and in your school? Uh, actually, we have an unashamed club at the schools and I became a leader of one of those. And so, yeah. Guys, that's huge. That's huge. Sonny, last question. What would, you say to, what would you say to kids your age that are struggling to coming back to Christ? Uh, so one thing is commitment, but it's really hard because I never really wanted to go. So what I would say is never give up and be at the place you don't want to be at because that's the day you're going to change. Amen. Thank you, Sonny. Thank you so much. Guys, round of applause for Sonny.